Ted Wakis knows what's happening up here and he wants to send a message of support and strength to the Gibson people and give you strength on your journey. So that's why I sang that song here tonight. So even though I'm Skanwi Has from the House of Wakis and Tispiox and also Tlacogila from the House of Wakis and Rivers in so we got another song from there. It's a, it's a fun song that our ancestors gave to the West Coast people a long time ago, many generations ago. And uh, we use it in times of celebration. And for me, um, it's a time of celebration here and now to see people all coming together with a common concern for the land of the, the Gitchen, the land of our ancestors. And it reminds me of that story Big Al was talking about the one-horned goat. And I remember the first time I was told the legend of the one-horned goat and the legend of Demelham when the people's village was destroyed because they forgot the laws of our ancestors. They weren't respecting nature and the land. So Tenoham is no more, and so I, I pray that uh, the San people remember the laws of their ancestors, and that we are the key of caretakers of the land of the ancestors. And it's up to us to set those leaders straight and think that we can sell the land for a few dollars. So to me, it's a celebration. So. I want to sing this celebration song too. Oh, it's a song. Cold break? Not too bad. It's got a bit of a cold. Booyah! 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 Oh, yeah. 
Kasu is, it means in English, where or who is your grandfather? And the answer, Tlaquagila Kasu Upaye, Tlaquagila is my grandfather. Yet when I go to the Wikinook people or the, the, any of the Kwakwala speaking people, they call me Tlaquagila down there. So when I'm singing that song of my ancestors, and I say, who is my grandfather? The answer is, Blackwagila is my grandfather, but I am Blackwagila. So it, it reminds us that we are our ancestors. We are them, and they are us. And the way it's taught in the sweat lodge is that we, when, when our ancestors go back to the earth, then they become part of the earth. And so we are part of them. And they are the earth we walk on. And that's the reason why we have respect for the land. That's why the Kitsan take care of the land, because it's taking care of themselves, and their ancestors. And another thing about that is the chiefs don't own the land. The chiefs don't even own the name that they carry. So I am Tlaquagila, and Tlaquagila is a chief among the, the Wikinos people. But there was a Tlaquagila before me, and there will be another one after me. And I don't own that name. And nobody says to me, oh, that's Chief Roy Henry Vickers there. Roy Henry Vickers is not a chief. Blackwagila is the Sumbiget, the Samoyga. And, and, and Blackwagila is the name of the land. And so the very name is part of the ancestors. And so it's my responsibility to carry that name while I live and to make that name a good name when people hear that name. And so it's our responsibility as people no matter what name we carry. Roy Henry Vickers, well, who is that? Well, he's a man that lived in Hazleton and he really loved the people there and he loved the land there. And so that's what I see happening with all of the people who come around this fire and, and who remind the, the chiefs and the elders that we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility. And, and the money offered for the right to put something on the land 
that would eventually destroy it. And it's not a case of if it happens that the pipeline breaks. When it happens is the truth of the matter. And so it's our responsibility to remind those chiefs who also carry the names of their ancestors that they cannot just make a decision without talking to all of them. It's almost like because we carry a chief's name, we have a right just to be together and make a decision as chiefs. No, that's that's not the right. The right is to be transparent and to be talking to the people and to be to be listening to the people. And, and all of the elders and all of the chiefs who ever carry the mantle of responsibility know that it's not for themselves that they do this. It's for the people which is also for the land, because we are the land, and you cannot separate us from the land. And so we can't, we can't sell a birthright. And so to me, that's, that's why I come down here to be part of this, and, and to see you people who work so hard to make a good difference. And it's that hard work knowing that the difference you're making is for respect and honor that will give you peace of mind when you walk away from here, that will carry, carry your self in a good way down the coast where the Tsimtsian people live. They, when they say thank you, they say, Sa'am Zahaitkin, or we say on the coast, Sa'am Zahaitkin. And it really doesn't mean thank you. It means when you're talking to a person who's standing in the strength and the truth of their ancestors, it literally means you stand well. So you all, Sam Zahaitkin to you all, you stand well, you stand in a really beautiful way today and yesterday and the days to come until some resolution is brought to this case that we have here. I'm proud of you all, and I'm glad to be part of it. Thank you. Thank you for the drum. Thank you. Keep driving. No, you go ahead. Go ahead.